present the Jackson Symphony Orchestra Summer Pops Concert, music director for the JSO, Matt Aubin. Hi, Matt. Hey, Bart. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Matt, Matt's sitting down for the first time all summer. That's right. Yeah, I've been on the move. Concertizing, <laughs> as they say. Yeah, but it's, that's a good thing, right? That classical music is alive and well, mm -hmm. especially John Williams' music in the summer. People, people like, uh, like to hear some Star Wars and mm -hmm. Superman, things like that. Yes, people love the music of John Williams. Now, um, Boston Pops, uh, maestro and composer, uh, you, you're a writer as well. I do some, I do some uh, arranging more than writing. But, uh, but yeah, I've tried, I remember my first brass quintet in high school was for a music theory class and I named it Lucky Charms in C. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, Look so that, that, that should have told me to just stop right yeah. there. Well, so I'm a, I'm a recreator, not a creator. You found what you are great at and uh, you're doing it here in Jackson. And yeah. Also at Southwest Michigan and uh, Chelsea, New York, uh, you direct both of those uh, con uh, concert orchestras, yeah. and they they have busy summer seasons. Busy too. summer seasons, especially the St. Joe's Orchestra, because uh, they're right on Lake Michigan. They get a lot of uh, tourist traffic during mm -hmm. the summer, and so they do a series of outdoor concerts. Right, there's a pavilion called Shadowland Pavilion where the St. Joseph River comes in mm -hmm. between St. Joseph and Benton Harbor. And yeah, it's nice. They have food trucks there, wine. You can sit on the lawn or you can, you can get a seat, bring your own lawn chairs and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, that keeps me very busy in the summer, but it doesn't conflict with this, which is nice too. Mm. So. Yes, and this is the Pops concert, Summer Pops concert, right, a long absolutely. tradition yeah. in Jackson. Yeah, and a few years ago, we started to offer it as a, as a free concert. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, we've had some great sponsors step up. I think County National Bank and Experience Jackson in this case. And uh, that allows us to still obviously pay our musicians, cover our costs. But, but uh, we, do, we do a reserve seating. So if you do want to have kind of a special experience where you get to go to a pre-concert reception, get some get a drink, have a reserved seat, you can, you can get a, a front row seat. But if you just uh, walk in on by, you can check us out that way too. Yes, all those uh, backs of heads are in the uh, reserved <laughs> section. They uh, are, yeah, uh, yeah. From uh, last year, this was last year's. This was last year's, yeah. Huge crowd, I think it was a record. It was, yeah, it was, I, I think especially after the pandemic, people really, uh, the last couple of years have come out in bigger numbers, they're excited to to be there and and not taking it for granted, uh, which is is great. And this year, I, I, you know, I've done a lot of John Williams kind of inspired concerts, and this year, my staff and I talked and we thought, what if we did a Hollywood themed concert, but really instead of just taking John Williams, which deals with a certain, a lot of Steven Spielberg movies and, mm -hmm. and things like that. What if, we, what if we went back in time further and, and did things like we've got Casablanca and Moon River from Breakfast at Tiffany's and Rocky, uh, Magnificent Seven. So Back to the Future, the music from Up. So basically finding some popular music from different time periods by a lot of great composers, you know, people like Alan Silvestri or uh, Max Steiner or Henry Mancini, people that we might not, uh, we might not think about, at, you know, that, that don't come to mind in the same way that John Williams does, mm. but are really, uh, really significant people. Yeah, and all those names, those are just amazing uh, composers. Right, right, they, they really are. And, and for me, uh, you know, we will sprinkle in a couple of John Williams things. I think we're doing Jaws and Raiders, uh, but, but I, I, think, uh, I, I think when you hear something like Rocky, you know, that, that trumpet theme, that's, that's gonna be so fun to do. And, uh, and of course, we'll end the concert with some of our traditional things, play a school fight song, we'll, we'll play the Stars and Stripes, we'll recognize uh, our men and women who have served in the armed forces with a salute 
to them as well. So we like to do some of those traditional things alongside whatever our theme is. I think people look forward to that. Uh, if you've never been, uh, the audience is asked if you're a member of any of the armed forces which yeah. you played their song to stand and be recognized and i think people are shy don't be stand up no we want to yeah. yeah yeah it's it's it, it's really uh heartwarming and you know of course like my father-in-law and my dad uh both served and so having had them at at this concert at different times and seeing them stand you know i get a little lump in my throat when i see that uh, I did, I have to tell you though, I did make a joke. I did this Armed Forces Salute in St. Joe's. I made the joke that we don't have the Space Force theme yet. Yeah. And do you know one of the musicians saw me afterwards and said, you know what? They've done an updated arrangement with, that includes the Space Force. Really? So, so I might have to invest in a new arrangement next year. Mm -hmm. I don't have it for this year. But, and if there's, isn't there a famous astronaut from... Uh, from Jackson? Yes, we've had three or four. Oh, wow. Uh, with connections yeah, to Jackson. Yeah. But yes, uh, McDevitt, uh, Lausma, being all connected uh, to Jackson. Wow. Yeah. So we'll have to get that space for one Force more. song. I missed one. Sorry. But yes. Um, what is the Space Force theme? Is it from one of the Star Wars? Who chooses yeah, right, it? Right? Well, right? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you think, you know, yeah. Hopefully it's not dun 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 dun. dun. That's probably not good, you know. No. That wouldn't seem very, very uh, friendly. We want to be friendly to all the extraterrestrial yeah. life forms that are out there. It seems like uh, all the uh, um, songs for the Navy, Army, they're uh, marches. They're yep. Yep. That, so. Yeah, they're meant to march too, and mm -hmm. and that's right. Uh, and you can fight over which one's the best, but they're, you know, off we go into the wild blue yonder. They're all great. I mean, they're all great. <laughs> they really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So that is the, uh, it's kind of like a, a bonus. The summer pops kind of, it's free. It's not part of the uh, season. Uh, it's I'll, kind of a kickoff. Yeah. Are you going to do, like, uh, the, with the VIP, do they get, uh, like, is there food and drink? You know, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a drink involved okay. in, in there and, and maybe some light hors d'oeuvres. I, uh, I don't remember. So, Bart, this is a good segue to say that, you know, this, this year I've just completed my first full year as just being the music just director. Just music director. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Thank yes. you for the applause. Please, don't stop. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so, so Steve Trozen and his team have been doing a great job, but it's actually... Uh, taken me away from so you don't some have of, to some of that deal with the caterer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not as. Uh, I don't have as much firsthand knowledge, so I'm. I'm a little ashamed to say I'm not as prepared to answer that question. But I will assure you that all of that information is readily available on our website, JacksonSymphony.org. And I'm sure they will. Um, it's been uh, part of the deal. A VIP seat gets a little uh, bit of uh, refreshment. A little and, bit of refreshment. Uh, yes. Front row seat. Yeah, fantastic. And, you know, and, and my five-year-old daughter will probably be doing interpretive dance in front of all of those people. Is her birthday uh, around the summer pops? No, no. Her birthday is in February. Okay. But, you know, we, we've got big things happening in our house right now. We've, we've been doing kindergarten camp at Sharp Park Academy oh, no. this week. Mm -hmm. And so first day of school is coming up and everything. Exciting. Yeah. All right. Uh, the summer... Pops concert, and then the season begins. Season begins in October, October. Uh, first Saturday of October, and uh, we're we're doing kind of this whole greetings idea where we pick a place that one of the compositions the composer was from or visited, and we say greetings from. But uh, in this case, two of the three composers have spent a lot of time in California. Uh, John Adams, who is now maybe other than John Williams, the f most famous classical composer, classical American composer. He's out right up there with like somebody like Philip Glass. Um, he writes in a minimalistic way. We're doing a piece of his called Short Ride in a Fast Machine. Marcus Norris, who's from Jackson but living in LA, mm -hmm. he's writing a double concerto for cello and piano. And then we're finishing the concert with a non-LA composer, a New York composer, Aaron Copeland, 
he'll be doing uh, his third symphony, which is really considered by many to be the great American symphony and uses the famous melodies from Fanfare for the Common Man, which he'd written a little bit earlier. So we hear that bum bum bum, bum bee bee. We hear that all the time in just life, in television commercials, <laughs> sporting events. Copeland knew he had a good thing and developed it into a 40 minute long symphony. So yeah. Something to look forward Amazing. to. Yeah. Season approaches. All American. We yeah. will see you at Horse Blackland Park August 25th, Friday night. Cruise night. Cruise night, yep. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Bart. Thank you. Uh, music director of the JSO, Dr. Matt Aubin. Uh, we've got